What's going on YouTube? Wow. Some people are uh, kind of mad these days. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that, but uh, something uh, I noticed. I got a credit card years ago when I had bad credit, and uh, I, I don't really use it much. I have a small balance on it that I need to pay off. But I was going through my mail, and uh, you know, the, the mail you pull out of your mailbox, you're like, oh, I'll deal with that later. It's a new card I gotta activate. Well, I forgot, <laughs> forgot I had it, and it was sitting there for probably three, four months, I don't know. And I had to log into the website to uh, activate it. And when I did that, I noticed that they gave me a $3,000 credit increase. Which, like I said, I had the card when I had bad credit, so it didn't even have a $1,000 uh, available credit when I got it. I had this account for years. And I don't use it much, like I said. <clears throat> and I log in and, and just boom, $3,000 increase. No applying for it, no email, no request, nothing. And I find that odd because, see, the bank doesn't know I have any physical assets. Um, they might know about a few, but generally when I buy, I buy at the LCS with cash or I buy online using uh, uh, like a, a money order a lot of the times. Sometimes I use my bank account, but it's totally unrelated to this company. And I thought to myself, wow, you know, with, with the way banks are struggling right now, it's pretty courageous, let's say, to just give someone a $3,000 you know, credit increase. Usually it's, you know, a couple hundred bucks, 500 bucks, whatever. <clears throat> and I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think <clears throat> the reason they're doing that is because they're hoping I'll rack up a bunch, of, uh, you know, a bunch of purchases and pay on the interest. But I'm thinking to myself, if a lot of banks are struggling right now, wh why, you know, why make potential bad loans? You know, sure, I, I pay my, my bills on time, but... They can't know that I have a fallback plan because most Americans don't. Let's be honest. Uh, so I think that's kind of odd, you know. Um, maybe the reason we're in, in the situation we're in, and this is me talking to the bank, is because we haven't made the best investment decisions. So I don't think, you know, out of desperation, and this is just my guess, uh, out of desperation, uh, trying to get people to pay more. Uh, interest and in racking up more debt is a good idea. I don't think it's a good risk. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and as far as angry people, okay, so I stopped at a place I used to stop at and eat. And, uh, you know, it's a late night gig in town. They have great food. And I'd grab a drink or two while I was there usually. And I stopped in. I hadn't been there in months. And, uh, I see these little tabletops. I couldn't get a picture and I'll tell you where. I couldn't get one and I'll tell you why in a minute. I did take a picture. Um, but it said cash discount. Uh, 4% cash discount to our customers. And this place already has phenomenal products, you know, phenomenal food, phenomenal prices. And people are mad about it. I mean, and I've heard from, you know, more than just one person that works there, and I know them all pretty well. People are mad. And the reason I couldn't get a table topper, you know, one of those little things that sit on the counter that says that is because people are so mad. Um, they're treating the, the staff you know, rudely about it, number one. And number two, they're so upset about this 4%, which is four cents out of every dollar, um, that they're taking the, the table toppers and like you throwing them away or whatever they're doing. Is that just, you know, a rebellion? Is that because, uh, you know, you're hoping if the table toppers aren't there, the, the fee is going to go away? I mean, you know, look, everyone always says, oh, make the, make the businesses and, and the companies pay, but... Every time you use your card, your your debit card or your credit card at a business, uh, the business has to pay that merchant fee, you know. And and people, a lot of people, seemingly forget that or don't care. And that's what happens when cost is passed on to businesses. And I, I get it. People people are getting nickel and dimed. People, you know, inflation's up. You know, the dollar's not doing you know what it used to for people. And people are are are, are getting really really agitated. And on the other end of the spectrum, I see at work all the time, uh, people come in and, y'all, I'm telling you, this has happened a lot lately where someone's tried one card, it didn't work, they tried another card, it didn't work, 
and sometimes we get to their third or fourth card and this has been happening a lot before we find one that works or they'll have to combine you know a partial payment with this card and a partial payment with that card sometimes that happens with three or four cards the the the, the declining or the the combination of payment forms and I'm thinking maybe just a thought here maybe if things are that tight maybe you should stay home and and and, and cook a meal there or uh, do something else uh, but people people are mad I've, I've had three people in the last couple months you know just give me the bird for for mistakes they made uh, you know just me being there me being on the road uh, if it was somewhere they wanted to be was a problem for them um, it's kind of kind of weird out there right, uh, right now uh, today by the way I forgot to mention is the second it is Friday evening June 2nd 2023 uh, tomorrow, Saturday morning, if all goes well. Okay, this video will drop Sunday. But if all goes well, by the time you're watching this video, uh, Leo Gantz will be, uh, will have been on my channel for our live stream yesterday at 11 a.m. We'll see how that comes together. That is the plan right now. <clears throat> That's the tentative schedule I haven't heard back, so hopefully that takes place, um, or that took place prior to you seeing this video. If not, Maybe I can make something happen with him later this summer. He's a busy guy, but it's an honor that, that they asked him to be on my channel. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not giving you financial advice, but I think a lot of people right now are going broke, and they don't even realize it. Um, maybe they, they, they see it to a degree, but they don't. I don't think a lot of people fully understand that, and I think people are just mad. People are angry, and... And you know what? This is a good time to make sure that we're making good decisions. It's a good time to make sure that we're paying attention so that those angry people, uh, if they do something stupid, <clears throat> you're ready for it. Uh, you know, it's just, things are strange. Things are really strange. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of weird things lately. Uh, anyway, don't have a whole lot more other than, uh, <clears throat> you know, those, those little purchases add up. They really do. Uh, it's scary that I see people just dumping money <clears throat> left and right that they don't have to spend. Shut up, computer. <laughs> um, you know, Like the video. Subscribe. Uh, your time is always valuable here. I'd like to link up with some smaller channels. i got some stuff in the works. Uh, some live streams, maybe get them some exposure. Uh, I did one with a Nickel Stacker not too long ago. That was a lot of fun. That was too much fun, actually. Uh, we could have kept going and going. Um, I'm looking forward to, to doing some stuff. Uh, Josh is going to be on the channel again on Monday from the Great Treasures. i got some of the works with the Modern Stacker. Uh, got some cool stuff coming up. Hopefully, again, hopefully, the Lee Gantz video dropped yesterday when you're watching this video. That is the plan. Uh, so uh, like the video, subscribe, comment. Let's interact. Let's support each other. Uh, there's a lot of killer channels coming on the scene right now. I really dig them. I got some mail calls I'm going to get out. I got some swag coming. I can't send anything, send anything out if I don't have it. So if you've sent me mail, I've got a stack. I'm going to get to it, but I, I don't want to get to it until I can mail something out to you the day or two after the video. So hang in there. Uh, waiting on the swag. Anyway, like the video, subscribe, comment, share this video. Uh, watch your six. Pay attention. Be prepared. Make good choices. And uh, don't you ever... Ever forget, keep stacking.